Sometimes it's cool to experiment with new apps aside from the Adobe Suite. So in this video, my friends from Kittle are sponsoring this challenge that I'm doing to design a sparkling energy drink label in under 10 minutes. So I am starting my stopwatch, 10 minutes, we're gonna get rolling. So this is an awesome app that is called Kittle. And what it has is a bunch of different templates that you could use to have a starting place for your design. But I like to just do from scratch. So I'm doing new project and it's just like InDesign. You set up your artboard with the specifics that you want. So I'm gonna just do six, uh, 3.5 inches wide by six inches tall. And it's gonna be 300 DPI. So here we go. This is gonna be the front of the can that I'm designing. So now the cool thing that I love about Kittle is you can go over to this side, it's like the tools bar, and you go to elements. So instead of having to go and look for stock imagery, you can just search for what you're looking for and they're gonna pull up all sorts of elements and designs that are related to that. So I'm doing this as a watermelon energy drink. So I'm gonna do a starting point with this cool watermelon illustration. And I'm going to use my background color, color picked from this watermelon to get this cool pink vibrancy, which I am really liking. I might go a little bit more red with this, just a tad, like right there, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this so that I can have it, and it's just same command, command C and then command V, turn it around, and I'm gonna have that at the top. Now I wanna also have one that's like overlaid to give some texture in the background. Okay, we're at eight minutes and 26 seconds, so I gotta get going. Now it has this cool kind of texture, and something I love is it has layers, just like in Photoshop or in InDesign. So if I wanna move this layer below, I can do it like that. Okay, next we're gonna add some type. So you can either go over here to the text and add uh, something from their templates, or you can just do a headline or a paragraph and start from scratch yourself. So this, this line is gonna be called Verano because that is uh, what is Spanish for summer in tribute to my husband's heritage. And so I'm gonna do white for this and you just do the fill color like that and then text set settings. So this is where you actually change the typeface. And there was this cool one called calf. Yeah, this is the one that I wanna use, calf for this one and I'm gonna make the type size dramatically smaller, so like 50. I wanna turn it so it's like there, and you see it has these guides like in InDesign, so, and in, in Photoshop where it tells you where this is the middle. So that's the middle. I'm gonna leave it there for right now. I'm going to do another thing where it's gonna be the flavor. So it's gonna be watermelon splash. Now obviously this is way too big. I'm gonna make it white. And then I'm gonna make it this cool unbounded typeface. So, and it's gotta be down to like 12 and the letting needs to be 14. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right at the top there. Now this looks like it's gonna be too close to the top. So I'm gonna move this Verano down and move that down. Okay, now I wanna say what type of drink it is. So this is gonna be an energy drink, energy sparkling drink. Now I wanna make this about seven and I'm gonna turn it and oh, we're at six minutes. Okay, am I gonna make it? Um, let's see, uh, now I'm gonna make it like that. And it, see, it tells you the degrees that it is, so we want it exactly 90. I'm gonna, by, by doing command, you can select both of them and do this align. So I'm aligning them in the middle, make sure they're good there. And then uh, I want to have something down here that's like a bar that's green. So I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna go to shapes, basic shapes. And I'm gonna make this like that. Bring it down here. And I wanna color pick from this green of the watermelon. So I'm gonna go to object color, eyedropper. I'm gonna go here and this cool green. I think I wanted to do it a little bit more like this one. Okay, good, that's, that's a better color. So now I want to see this shape on the layers, it's way at the top. I'm gonna drag it all the way down so that this cool watermelon is overlaying that. And I also wanna have Verano below that. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to, you know how we always have to have the 
quantity, like it's how many fluid ounces it is. So I'm gonna duplicate this one, make it, whoop, there we go. I'm gonna bring it down here and I'm gonna have it be 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters, okay. And you know you can also lock things if you don't want them to move. So I'm gonna lock it by hitting that little guy and that's now centered. Okay, great. So now I think it still needs something on like this side and this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the watermelon and I like this like cool uh, green going on here. I'm gonna make it big so that that is coming from the top there. I, I, I like how that looks and I wanna have something to balance it on this side. So I'm gonna copy paste, turn it the other way, make it so they're similar angles has some nice balance and repetition there. And the thing is that, you know, a, a non-designer could try and come in and do this, but you really need to know, still if you're using this app, you still need to know the basics of design. It's, it's not like it, it will design for you. That's not how this works. Um, unless you want to, you can use one of the templates, but I, again, like to do things from scratch or as much from scratch as I can using like stock images, just like I would if I wasn't gonna illustrate it from scratch myself. Okay, so here we go. We got our Rano Splattermelon Splash. We're in three minutes. I think I've been talking too much. I wanna make this a little bit darker. Uh, just in looking at it, I think it could go a little bit more like that. Yeah, okay, that's better. Good, so now the really cool thing about this program too is you can go and create a mock-up within Kittle. So I just hit the mock-ups and you can have something on a t-shirt, on a wall, on all these different points. Now, obviously I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna go down to the packaging. So you can see all these different packaging options and I'm gonna choose the can. So now, and it, it just wraps around, just like you don't have to do any warping or anything yourself. It's now a perfect mock-up right there. So this is really helpful for when you're designing something and you wanna see what it looks like as you're designing it. And then you just download the mock-up. So we're at two minutes and 50 seconds. So we did design it. However, I want, I'm, I'm counting also doing the mock-up. So let's, I'm gonna do like this, it's downloaded. I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I have this cool watermelon that I'm gonna import into my file. Uh, for the mock-up. So I'm gonna hide that for now and I gotta get this background so that it is like that. Okay, and I'm gonna add some more vibrancy because this is like a really vibrant type of drink and uh, energy, you know, get people's energy going. And I'm gonna put this one right behind it. Turn it on. I'm gonna color pick from here. And I think I wanna to go to color, okay, now. Okay, we're at one minute and 59 seconds here. Okay, people, we can do it. Okay, uh, so let's see if I, just gonna go through the different, that one's kinda of cool. Maybe I can make this a little bit more vibrant, the background, like that. Okay, and let's see if there's anything Right, just softening that. So now we have our Verano watermelon drink. Look at that. So we did it, we, we were able to go into Kittle and edit it, edit the whole thing, create the design. And now the cool thing also is you can download this, not as a flattened JPEG, not as a PNG, but you can download this as a final file to turn over to the printer because you just go download PDF or SVG and it'll be vector because that's how you want to print packages. So you can also download it and then take it into Adobe Illustrator or InDesign and mess around with it some more if you want to in there. But this is an all self-sufficient program that can actually create 
finalized files. So you should go ahead and check out Kittle. I have a link in the description below. If you wanna take this challenge of doing it under 10 minutes, create your own design in under 10 minutes, I would love to see it if you tag me on Instagram at For The Creatives. And let me know what you think in the comments. Did you like my Verano drink? Do you like my watermelon splash? And what are you gonna be creating? I would love to hear um, and, and see what your input is. So thank you so much for watching this video. I still have 16 seconds left, so we did it. And I believe that you can do it too. It makes things really fun and easy to design without having to go to somewhere else like a stock site all of they have so many assets to choose from which i really appreciate from the kittle app so okay there's our 10 minutes thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time